Girl, hey! So I know it's silk press season and I wanted to give you guys a video on how to style your hair on old pressed hair just to make it last a little longer for all my natural girls when you're not ready to go back natural yet. So, um... Yeah, let's get into the video. I'm starting off by parting my hair. I am not. Let me just give y'all a little disclaimer. I am not a good parter at all. I suck at parting hair. Like, any type of part, I'm not good. I can never get them straight. So, don't mind my parts. They are going to all be crooked <laughs> because I'm not good at parting hair. Period. If you are good at parting hair, that's good for you. Part your hair correctly. I can't. It's really a struggle. So, yeah. It's definitely still compressed season. And my hair is old. It is a little dirty. Um, got a little flakes, you know, but I wanted to, that's when it's time to do some styles or whatever because I'm not ready to wash my hair just yet. And it's not, I mean, it's not that dirty, but I mean, the silk press is just old. So I'm using the Cara Care. This is the, I forgot what that's called. Wax stick, okay. Cause I don't really want to put too much, you know, like product on my hair. So I just use the wax stick to slick my hair down. And now I'm putting it up in a ponytail. Some up, some down. We bringing it back to when we were in middle school, elementary. And you used to wear your hair some up, some down. But I'm putting the two little, what are these called? I don't want to call, are they... What are these called? Bangs? No, I don't I don't I don't think these are called bangs. What are these called? I don't know, but the two little pieces at the front. I just feel like that makes it so much more like cuter and adds more fun to it. I, I if you follow me on Instagram, I literally always wear my hair like this all the time. And I go in with the flat iron and I just flat iron put curls in my hair with a flat iron. Some very loose curls make it very fun. I don't want them to be too tight or like too much, too defined. I just go in and just flat iron it. Especially my two pieces at the front. I really use a light hand and I don't try to grip it that, I don't grip the flat iron that tight when I'm doing my two pieces at the front because I don't want them to be too tight or too short. I like my two pieces at the front very loose so they can still have length on them. But when I um, curl the rest of my hair, I just curl it regularly um, with a regular hand. But I really use a light hand and I don't really grip my hair that tight when I'm curling my two pieces at the front. So I'm just going in and curling all of my hair, just taking small, I don't know, you know, like medium sized sections, not too small because I don't want the curls to be too small and then not too big because I still want you to be able to like see the curls and yeah, flat iron curls, super easy and I just let them like stay in its form and then once I'm done curling all of my hair that's when I go in with my fingers and I don't use a comb I just use my fingers and I just kind of you know fluff them out really good and I you put this really cute um, scrunchie on my head these are like the little you know cute little scrunchies like 90 scrunchies and this is the first hairstyle so cute like I said I always wear my hair like that it's super cute so yeah I always do compliments on my hair when it's like that second hairstyle is just putting the hair up in a bun and wearing it down still with the two pieces at the front also very cute you can add some little chopsticks or do whatever you want really cute hairstyle super easy boom now I'm going to get into the 
rubber band hairstyles. This is the third hairstyle. I'm gonna start off by parting my hair in the middle of my head. Then I'm parting my hair slanted. Make sure that you make the part slanted. And then I'm gonna put a rubber band around the little pieces. And I literally just continue that process. And I use some edge booster. Edge booster is my favorite edge control. If you haven't seen any of my other natural videos. I love edge booster and I'm taking these rubber bands. I got some colorful ones from the beauty supply. And I just think these rubber band hairstyles look really, really cute when you have colorful rubber bands. It just makes it even more like fun. It makes the rubber bands stand out even more. You can do it with black rubber bands, but I wanted the colorful ones. And yeah, I got my edge booster in pineapple. It's a pineapple scent. It smells so good. I love the scent of pineapple. I love edge booster. They all smell so good. And I just double rubber band. I use double rubber bands because I really wanted the rubber bands to stand out. I really wanted you to be able to see the rubber bands. And then here I am parting my hair again in a slanted motion. Like I'm making sure that the part is slanted. And then I'm just going to take a rubber band. And I'm also taking the piece of hair that was in the yellow rubber band and pulling it back. So that way it's all connected. And so I'm wrapping both the yellow, the hair that's in the yellow rubber band and the hair that is meant for the blue rubber band and uh, all together with that blue rubber band. If that makes sense. So it's all connected. And you just bring all the hair back. And I'm just going to repeat those steps. It's literally the same process over and over. So I'm just going to shut up and let you guys watch me. And I'll be back when it's time to explain something else. But it's literally the same process. This is the final look. I did the same exact thing to the other side of my head. 
And let me explain something to y'all about my part now. If now a while ago I got some lemonade braids, probably like a year or two ago, I don't know. And my hair fell out. I had a bald spot. Or wait, or did wait a minute? I'm lying. It wasn't the lemonade braids. It, like last year, I got a ponytail and my hair fell out in the middle of my head. And um, yeah, cause the ponytail was too tight. So that's why it's a little crooked back there. So don't pay no attention to that. But anyways, now once I slicked up my edges, did my edges real cute. Now I'm taking one of these little mini butterfly clips. And I'm just um, pinning up my hair in the mini butterfly clips. Ooh, it's just so cute. Uh, I thought that this next, the next hairstyle that I'm gonna do, I thought that was gonna be my favorite, but this is actually my favorite hairstyle. So I'm doing the same thing, getting my edges together because they are a little rough. Actually, a lot of rough. And yeah, welcome to being natural. But yeah, I'm just getting my little edges together really nicely. And I was really pressed for time because y'all know it gets dark at like 3 o'clock now. So, uh, yeah, I was pressed for time. I ain't have time to be like uh, worried about if my parts are straight and all that stuff. Take your time, you know, if you have time. If you're not a good parter like me, oh well. The, the hairstyles are going to be cute regardless. I mean, don't just have it all jacked up, you know. But, I mean, do your best. Do what you can do. And it's gonna come out cute. So, yeah, taking another butterfly clip and doing the same thing to the other side. But yeah, it's kind of hard for me to get my part straight in that center area because my hair is like not even at all in that little center part. The hair has grown back. It's no longer a ball spot, but it's not it, it's not all even. So just excuse that part. And that's like in the middle of my hair, but whatever. I don't know what my excuse is for the top for <laughs> for the top of the hair of the part not being straight. But forget that. It's still cute. And then I'm gonna go back in because that side of my hair, for whatever reason, never curls, cannot hold a curl for nothing. I don't know why, I don't know what's wrong with it, but this, I don't know what's wrong with this side. So I'm going back in and I'm going to re-curl it really cute. But the other side of my head can always hold the curl. I don't know what, it's like I have two different types of hair in my head like one side never stays curled never holds a curl or a hairstyle always is just doing its own thing that other side stays curled always flows nicely the edges always look good everything but yeah this hairstyle is so cute literally my favorite it just came out so cute i think i look so cute super 90 ish Super fun and uh, the nice little flowy curls. It's so cute. Uh, I love the way my hair looks. I was actually shocked because I didn't know how this one was going to turn out, but it was. It actually became my favorite. So cute. And yeah. Next. Now I'm going to be doing some up, some down with the rubber band. This is the second rubber band style. This is the style that I thought was going to be my favorite, but um, I was just like, eh. I mean, it's cute. Don't get me wrong. Of course it's cute. But I mean, I just thought that this was going to be my favorite one. So starting off the center part again. And then I'm going to create like a little square because we are going to do, it's going to be like in a box and we're going to do some up, some down. So I'm just creating that little box. 
so I know where to put my rubber bands. Now this time we are not going to be connecting the parts just yet. You are going to rubber band them all separately, separately, individually, and then once we rubber band them individually, that's when we will connect the dots, <laughs> connect the parts. But first, with this hairstyle, just individually rubber band the part. Holes on my phone when they find out that I'm rich, then they switch. When they say I'm choosing on my bitch, calm down, gotta do a donuts on the dick, yeah. Now that we have all the parts, we are going to twist the hair and then bring it across to that second row and then rubber band both parts together. Again, twisting the hair, bringing it across, rubber banding the hair together, and doing the same thing for the second row to the third row. First row to second row, second row to third row. Some parts did get cut off. Y'all know my camera be tripping, but I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory what I'm doing. Just take it diagonally across. To the next row and rubber band the hair together so it makes like a X again taking that one across diagonally and rubber banding all of the hair together and then it's gonna look something like this and then I'm just gonna take the sides and put my hair up some up, some down. So I'm just gonna put my hair in a ponytail. And then boom, I make the ponytail higher. Fixing up my edges a little bit in the sleeve, thick hairstyle. Cute, it's cute, it is cute. I like it. And with all your hands out your face, super fun, and just adds a little, you know, a little sauce to the game, to your hairstyle. It's not just a plain up and down, you know, it just makes it cute, fun. The curls are still there, loose, you know, they're not super tight. 
Then the second one, I just parted my hair and put two ponytails, two little pigtails. I think this hairstyle is also cute. I look so young, but I think it's cute and it's fun. And then you could also wear hair like this. This is hairstyle number six. Or you can do the little two buns, wrap those up in two buns. Hairstyle number seven. I'm just going back in and fixing up my edges again. Really slicking them down this time because it's the last hairstyle. And I like the two buns. I think it's so cute and it makes it super fun. I would wear any of these hairstyles. Yeah. And this is the final look. I think this hairstyle is so cute and so fun. I would definitely wear this hairstyle. Let me know in the comments what your favorite hairstyle was out of all of these hairstyles. And tag me if you try any of these hairstyles on Instagram. Eliminate J. Make sure to follow me. Subscribe to my channel if you are already not. Turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload. Tell everyone you know to subscribe. And yeah, go watch some more of my natural hair videos. Go watch your makeup tutorials, any all my videos on my channel. Subscribe, like this video if you want to see more hair videos, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.